Beauty Beyond, inspiring and celebrating Malaysian women. This show is dedicated to all women who is inspired to be like our icons, who never stop and believe in achieving big. I am Chamista Yogan. sweet, rich, creamy, yummy. Oh God, sounds tempting, right? Next up, we have Lim Shirley to tell us and take on on the venture of ice cream. for joining us. Thanks for having me here today. Certainly. You know what, it's really interesting, yeah, that you're not a culinary trained person and yet you have 27 ice cream shops around Malaysia. How did your passion for ice cream even begin? It began when I was a really, really young kid. I love ice cream. So we wanted to build a business and ice cream was a natural I mean, food, we love food, so food was a natural um, option for us. We aren't culinary trained, so ice cream was a bit easier to scale up as well. We were working in Singapore and we noticed quite a lot of um, brick and mortar ice cream shops which served local flavours and we saw a gap in the market in Malaysia and then it started. That's how it all started. That's a great achievement and you're competing with like international brands just in your local place itself. Uh, I think we, we want to be a good product, be it international or local. Yeah. And these days we have really, really good local ingredients so we can showcase it as well. How did you come up with the idea of localizing to the local flavors itself? You know, I love the fact you have uh, durian, musang king, um, chendol, onde onde, uh, what else? Champada, uh? oh, that's what you created, isn't it? Yes, we do that seasonally. So basically, Malaysia has such great food and flavors, mm -hmm. and we thought that it's only natural to turn it into ice cream since we are a local ice creamery brand. The international chains don't have such flavors, and so why not we do it? Being a successful entrepreneur businesswoman definitely requires a special skill, right? Basically, my approach to a business is um, be emotionally stable. Uh, don't be overly emotional about things. There is no upside in being emotional. Settle down, think what the problem is, and look for a solution. Be solution-oriented. That's basically what I do. And that also, yeah, you are handling business and you're being a mother of two. How do you even juggle with your time and all this? So my husband's really hands-on, my kids as well, and he also helps me. I mean, he also runs a business at the same time. And my in-laws really take care of my kids as well. Knowing that they are in good hands, I can focus on one and if I need to, I focus on the other. It's cool that I actually read and I came across this. I think you know what I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Delato University. It is a university. So it's based in Bologna in Italy. And every time I say it, people go, what, there's such a university? <laughs> yeah, so I went there to study to learn the techniques behind making gelato. I spent about three weeks there and it was really intense. We eat ice cream for breakfast. That's how intense it is. How many ice creams do you even try on a daily basis? Um, if it's just on a normal day, about two on average, two to three. But if we are doing vigorous R&D, it can go up to like five scoops a day. Being in this industry, yeah, especially F&B industry, what is your take on dare to try? I think women should do that. They should dare to try. You do encourage women on yeah. that. If you don't try, you don't know what your potential is and you don't know how far you can go. So definitely try. Are you a risk taker? Um, a calculated risk taker. <laughs> a calculated risk taker. Tell me more about that, please. So you analyze the situation and you decide whether you want to take the risk or not. You weigh the pros and cons of taking it. So do you like have a journal on it or how do you go over that? 
just a piece of paper, pros, cons, and see which one outweighs. So which outweighs? Yeah, that comes to traditional way, you know, weighing pros and cons and knowing that's that's an actual way of doing it. Uh, yes, I actually like writing things down. It helps my, me form my thoughts as well. And yeah, a bit old school instead of typing in a computer. Uh, you know, I do enjoy being old school on that matter as well. And I agree to weighing on the pros and cons. You know what, this session has been really wonderful. But before we end, I've got a surprise question for you. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Sure. All right, so it's going to be, what does Beauty Beyond means to you? Beauty Beyond is? Beauty, beauty Beyond is... Beyond... Um, physical appearance to me, definitely. Yes, I think beauty comes from within, as you know that famous saying is. But um, your personality, your thought process, your values, I think that will make a person even more beautiful. sharing all this inside. So what's next? We'll hit the ice cream shop. Are we going to? Looks like we're going to go on a fun ride to the ice cream parlor. Let's go. Inside Scoop. Thank you for having me here. Pretty so, colors. Yeah, we have 18 flavors on display here. Um, from durian to Verona chocolate, mango lassi, peanut butter cup. Why not you take a seat and I'll bring some out to I you. I will. Oh god, this looks really tempting. Cream. It's a swirl of blue pea flower ice cream and raspberry yogurt. Oh wow, this looks refreshing. It is, it is. Colourful, refreshing. It's a bit of tanginess from the yogurt as well. yogurtness and there is a sweetness and it's refreshing. Where do you get your ingredients from? We get our ingredients from both locally and overseas. We try to source for the best ingredients mm -hmm. to make the best flavour. Our milk is also really fresh. We get it from a farm in Kuala Selangor. It takes a day from them milking the cow to reach our factory. So it's that fresh. It's that fresh the next day and you're churning in the ice cream. And how many total flavours you have? In our book, I think we have about maybe 70 or 80. That's a we lot. Exactly. <laughs> some are not accepted, as in not everyone likes it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's some And they're crowd favourites yeah. as well. Yeah. So tell me, what are crowd's favourite pleasing ones? Do you have a good experience and a bad experience ones as well? Yes, definitely. So crowd favourites are like our Verona chocolate, mm -hmm. our durian, but even durian is love and hate. Um, but it's more acceptable since we're in Malaysia. Things that people don't like, but some people love it's like a white truffle chocolate there are people who are crazy about their flavors and are haters who actually send us picture of them throwing the ice cream in the dustbin it's like why do you come up with this flavor it's horrible so do they <laughs> and they send you guys a picture yes. on social media ah uh, yeah besides ice cream what is your specialty oh our waffles are a must try they are light and fluffy so it really complements the, the ice cream Okay. We have two basic waffles, the buttermilk and the charcoal waffle. And we have four signature waffles, which is the banana, apambale, oh, the Nutella. Oh, okay. And the salted egg yolk. Thank you. So this is a really popular one where there is Nutella sauce drizzled all over, marshmallows, and it's topped with a red velvet ice cream. Okay, that explains. I was about to ask you, what is that? It looks like a cake kind of thing. Yeah, so it's cream cheese ice cream with red velvet bits um, folded into it. Mm. 
That sounds really rich. It fact, is. As well. And walnuts? Uh, hazelnuts. Hazelnuts, okay. Yeah, because nat Nutella is chocolate hazelnut. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Oh. What do you think? It's crunchy, cheesy, and yeah, I love how you have the nuts with it. Mm. Oh. oh, wow, this is good. Oh, I must tell you, this is really delicious. Yeah, this one's really popular. I'm out of my diet. Nope, ice cream, waffle. Oh, you're killing me here. You're killing me, Shirley. That's my basic diet every day. <laughs> And say fit? Oh wow. I must learn that from you then. Hey, I'm gonna make some ice cream after this. You wanna follow me? You're gonna take me where the magic takes place. Yes. <laughs> where it all starts. Let's go. Sure. So welcome to the kitchen. Thank this you. is where the ice cream the magic happens. The magic happens here. Yes. So this is our little baby who turns out the ice cream. So this is the ice cream mix. It contains fresh milk, cream, eggs, mint, and that's about it. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the ice cream into the machine now. You gonna help me? Yes. chocolate sauce in and we stir it up more chocolate yeah, so that there's chocolate in every bite okay mm. and that's freshly cherry ice cream <laughs> it's so refreshing it's like minty chocolatey and cold and cold <laughs> Experience. Hope you enjoyed this experience. Of course! Any kid would want to experience this and I have the chance. Of course I'm happy about it. I feel so happy and I'm feeling like I'm reliving a kid's life. Come on, ice cream, cakes, waffle. That would make me happy too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we even end our second segment, mm -hmm. I've got rapid fire questions. Ooh, That's okay. gonna be an interesting one. Okay. I'll go easy one with you. Fire. Okay. All right. Cake or pie? Cake. Oh, that's a good one. Cup or cone? Cone. Cone. <laughs> okay. No way stage you eat everything up. <laughs> okay, chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Okay. Durian or chumpada? Chumpada. Chumpada, of course. Yeah. Who came out the chumpada flavor? Me. And so you take the pride on that. <laughs> Definitely. I love fried chumpada and also chumpada. Chumpada, okay. Yeah. Your next question will be, Maybe we'll keep it general. Okay, who's the inspiring person to you? Mm, it's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess in the last three and a half years when I became a mom, I think mothers are really aspiring on, you know, the strength, the courage, the, the energy that they just have. What's the biggest life lesson to you? 
this business has definitely taught me that things, as much as you plan, mm -hmm. things will never go 100% as planned. So you have to be prepared to pivot and not to be too emotionally um, influenced by the change of events. What's your favorite fruit besides cake, ice cream, waffle? Nope. Oh, I was gonna say cake. I, knew you were gonna do. <laughs> I yeah. really eat cake almost every day as well. <laughs> every day. Um, almost every okay. day. Okay. Um, pizza, I think. Pizza. Oh, I like pizza too. It's good. Well, thank you so much for being with us today and showing everything that happens in your business and where the magic takes place. My pleasure. Oh, thank you Hope once you had again. Fun. I certainly had fun. You made a happy kid out of me. <laughs> We're all a kid at heart. <laughs> we always, we yeah. always somehow remain a kid in us, isn't it? We do. I would be needing to hit the gym after this. Definitely no regrets. As you can see, Shirley has made us all so proud of her as she came out with a homegrown made ice cream. This is our national ice cream. All right, coming up next, we have our segment three. So stay tuned. Nowadays, beauty hacks and beauty product information are so easily attainable via internet. I'm sure you all regularly follow on one tips that you have seen and you've been doing to yourself. I bet you got this too. You got this. You got this. You got this. I'm going to share about homemade hair mask. Well, this way you'll be able to achieve the luscious, the smooth, the shiny hair that you always wanted. Well, I do this twice a month and it gave me that result and I would love you all to know how to do it. Ingredients that are needed. One egg, four tablespoon plain yogurt, two tablespoon olive oil, one tablespoon lemon juice. I have all the ingredients with me right now. You all have heard, right? The hair is every woman's crown. That's true, isn't it? Well, we gotta make sure that our hair stay luscious and healthy at all times. So that's what we're gonna show you, how to achieve that. So very simple. If you're not a professional egg breaker like me, so you better embrace this because we're gonna do that. All you gotta do is just take one egg and break it into the bowl safely. Okay, I'm ready. Told you, oopsie, horrible. It can get a little bit messy, but there you go. You have one egg, all right? Before you add all the other ingredients, we gotta whisk it. So, whisking it, just like how you're gonna cook your egg and you whisk it. Whisk it and whisk it and whisk it till it gets a little bit more foamy. So keep whisking and whisking and whisking. Now you get the texture, which is a bit foamy and sticky. Lovely, isn't it? Okay, put your utensils down. Next up, take four tablespoons of yogurt. Mmm, I love the smell of yogurt. One, two, three and four don't eat it well you can eat it if you want to actually because yogurt is healthy for your body too not just for your hair even you can apply for your face though all right next time we have olive oil you just need another two spoons of olive oil two tablespoons still everything we're using on a measurement of tablespoon and next up the lemon juice one tablespoon of lemon juice Oh, now all we gotta do is whisk it again. Okay. Now we're gonna apply on our hair. But before that, you can opt for wearing a glove or you can even go on bare hands. And next up, make sure you wear an old t-shirt or if you don't have an old t-shirt and you're on the go, just put on a towel and lay your hair and then you're good to go. 
It smells good, you know? Mmm. It smells like pancake orange kind of batter. <laughs> it's lovely. And even the textures, as you can see, it's creamy and lovely. All right, so I'm going to apply and show you exactly how to do it. Take a good amount, make sure you don't drip them, and then put it right on your hair. You know what? I'm surprised here that it doesn't smell that bad too. It smells really lovely. I remember the first time I was about to apply it, I was like, oh no, I was reluctant because of the ache. But you know what? When I saw the result, I was astonished. And that's why we're sharing with you this tip. Make sure you have this way covered stroke thoroughly throughout your whole hair. Make sure you put it throughout your hair from the top to the bottom and then you can opt to wear a shower cap and before that, 30 minutes before you shower, make sure you rinse it with shampoo of course and your conditioner and you're good to go for a luscious hair. brings you inspiring stories from our Malaysian women icons. I hope you're inspired and we have come to an end. I'm Shamista signing off with a powerful quote from the American actress Emma Stone. I can't think of a better representation of a beauty other than a woman who's not afraid of herself.